Hey guys, so this is technically going to be my first makeup tutorial, and I'm going to be tutorial on this look. It's a nice classic purple look, and I'm aware that I've worn this shirt in one of my videos before, so please forgive me. I just love it so much. So continue watching. Okay guys, so let me start off by saying that I already have my primer on. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next, what we're going to be using is my palette, the paint box collection. And we're just going to be using the white first. We're just going to be putting the white on the under the arch of my eyebrows and all over my lids and a bit under my eyes. You don't want to put too much on because we're going to be putting it on again later after we're done. After putting on the white, you want to take the purple. I have I'm going to be using this light purple and kind of using it as a a little guideline to where I'm going to be putting my my brighter my brighter purples and how much and like the amount I'm going to be putting on is kind of like a guideline to where I'm putting it as well. This is a very light purple, so if you don't have this exact palette then I would use um, a lighter purple because as you can see my shirt is a really dark type of purple. Next we're going to be using my um, Manly Blush Your Eyeshadow Palette. The colors in this palette are more pigmented and brighter and louder, which is what I need for this look. This palette has two sections. One, the, f the top section is more brighter colors, and then the bottom are more shimmery, darker colors, which I'm going to be using first, because my shirt is more of a dark purple. What I'm going to be using first is more of a not too dark and kind of a matte color. It looks kind of pink, this one. Okay, and we're just going to be putting it on lightly on my crease. And it's right on the line of where I put it. We're kind of making a V as you can see and it's slightly put on there next we're going to be taking another shade of purple a more darker one and putting it on as well this one is more of a shimmery purple and we're going to be putting it just on the crease to give it more depth this is a good color. Okay. Then we're going to be taking around the same type um, type of purple, but it's more in a matte color. And this one matches my shirt more, but it's just more of a matte color. Like my shirt. Okay. This we're going to be putting all on the corners of your eye and the crease like I did for the first shade of purple. Again, I'm following the lines I did for my lighter shades of purple like I did earlier. Okay. So that's done, as you can see. It gets more darker on the crease of my eyes because it shows more depth and a three-dimensional look in my eyes. If you think that your purple looks too dark, then you can go ahead and take a lighter purple that's also very pigmented and just kind of put it over it so you won't so it won't look too dark for you. For me, I'll just take um, this dark color. It's also a matte color, so it won't be too shimmery. And just putting it over a bit over the shimmery dark color I had on my crease. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking the white, like I did earlier, from my palette and using it again as a highlight on my eyebrows and taking the white and putting it into the corners of your eyes so it can make your eyes pop more. Just evening it out a bit. 
Okay. So, it's good. Again, you want to put on a little bit under your eyes because you're going to be using a black eyeliner. From there, you want to take your eyeliner. What I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Eye Studio for the top of my eyes and my brush. Okay. So, you just want to take a little bit and kind of rub it off to the sides if it's too much. Make it just enough, just even enough. You want to start off in the middle and then work your way to the side. You don't want to make your wing yet because what I usually do is make my wing when my eyeliner is put on completely. After you finish starting from the middle, you start back from the beginning. Okay. Just refill it in if it's too light. Like mine's kind of light right now, so let me just. Now, since the, the um, eyeliner is put on completely, you can make your wing. Okay, so now both wings are on. My eyeliners are on top already. Next, what I have to do is put the eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes. I'm going to be using the NK Eye Pencil. Just putting it on the bottom. What I usually do is when I have eyeliner on the top of my eyes, I try to make it look like they are connected. To give it more of a fuller, complete look. Like so. Then, for my lips, I'm just going to be putting on my EOS. And my Sonia Kashuk lip gloss, Whisper number 59. I'm sorry guys, but I failed to mention that I used this as my mascara. Bye!